guys, there is like unlimited floor work. Today we're doing a couple like over the toe. We're doing oh. a cool kip up. Uh -oh. We're doing a helicopter. You're giving this away for free? Yeah. Why are you so jealous? Yeah, you guys are lucky. But first, united we dance. Ooh. You guys, What's dance work corner. What is that? Great question, Matt. Thank you. Danceworkcorner.com, my favorite people. Corner.com, use code AT20 at checkout for 20% off of your purchase. I actually really like this tank. And I tuck it into my little leggings so that I feel like a little high waisted mama. Yeah, it's good. Dance corner, Bettis. I get arrested if I try the high waisted mama thing. Okay. All right, so our first one is a single leg toe over. So this one is your classic lyrical competition movement. Yeah. This right arm is gonna float up and over. Actually, I lied. The first thing I said to you was wrong. Your left arm is gonna float up and over. Your right leg is what's moving. So you're starting on your knees, um, sitting on your feet. You're gonna push up. That right leg is gonna come through with just your toe. So that toe is what you're rolling over and you're not landing on your kneecap, friends. You're landing on the side of your shin. So I come up. My toe glides up, I push up and over my toe, my left arm reaches, and I'm leaning towards Matt as my knee goes towards the floor. Yeah, did you hear how quiet that was? The reason we landed so softly and so quietly is because of that oppositional pull. If you threw all of your body weight this way, you're gonna just go clunk down, right? Yuck. Oh. <laughs> so what you wanna make sure is that you're leaning away from that right leg so that you land nice and soft. Let's try it again. Six, seven, and knee. Up, toe, through, lean away, glide to your knee. Yeah, and then this can transition nicely to like other kinds of movement and whatnot. If you want more movement after that, pop over to our other floor work vlog. <laughs> and... Was that it? That is your single legged toe over. Let's show one more time. Five, six, seven, and breathe up and toe and lean away. Yay! Okay, so Maddie's gonna show you guys our second one, which is our kip up. So this guy, yes. I recommend that you find like a carpet or like something that's kind of soft to start off with, because you're gonna be kind of rolling on your knee. Um, ideally, when you do this, it's gonna help like not put a whole lot of pressure on it, but when you're practicing, just be safe, make sure you got something that's not like super, super hard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start down on your stomach this way, all right? So you're gonna wanna pick a knee, whichever one is your stronger knee I recommend. So I have my right knee down. So that means my left knee is going to lift off the floor this way. And when I do that, notice how I'm kind of sliding my right knee up and in a little bit. So I'm kind of like in this weird sort of planky situation here. <laughs> and then while you're there, as soon as you come up, you want to immediately kick that up leg back and push up with your hands. And then ideally, it'll end up looking something like this. Oh, ow! And then you just kind of slowly oh. glide. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Yeah, see, uh, knee pads are also great. Find some or something soft. Yeah. That was so good. So Maddie, do you feel like you're using your you're using your palms to push into yes. the floor and you're squeezing your abs, yes. right? Because it's gonna, kind of like a little shh contraction yes. in. You're gonna squeeze a lot of things. Another thing that's gonna you're help you out. All things. Yeah, abs, legs, you're pushing with your hands. I also want you to think about the top of your head. You wanna send it back. <laughs> the way you're going too, yeah? The more momentum you can go, you can put going that way, it's gonna help you get up, yeah? If you just try to kick back without pushing with your hands or doing anything, it's gonna look like... <laughs> I can't even do it, look like a dead fish. So, again, you're gonna be here, you're kicking that one foot, whatever what leg you choose, you're kicking it up, boom! Nice! Yeah? And you send that head back up with it, push with your hands, and the more you practice, the better you're going to feel, like, okay, this is what that momentum feels like, and it's going to get easier and easier to get up. Let me break it down one more time to get you good and ready. So you start on the floor, all the way down, hands are here. My hands, you want to have them kind of right by your chest, so you can push a little bit chest. easier. Yeah. You want to be like up here, 
Because that's weird. You want me down here because it's next to impossible. <laughs> so you're going to be here. Whatever foot you choose is going to kick up, back. And you're pushing with your hands, sending your head back up that way, squeezing your thigh, abs, everything, going back that way. Now that is that move. Right, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> How are you going to say bye? Fine. Wait, give me that five. That was so good. You guys, I love Max Kip Up because it has that really cool kind of suspension putting backwards, but there is also um, different ways that you can straighten your legs, point your toes too. Um, that's just one version. So for me, when I do a kip, I come up with a super straight top leg and a pointed toe. It's the same mechanics that Matt explained to you with pushing up and squeezing your abs. But just to show you a different version, you can come up with a straight knee tuck back nice and slow and then come up. It just kind of depends what style. It's fine. What style you My job's like. done. Yeah, and then, Woo! okay, so this guy is a little bit tricky because there's a couple different parts to it. Um, you're gonna be flopping around like a little fish for a couple of tries and that's okay. Um, it's your helicopter roll. So the first thing that you wanna make sure you have is your plow in yoga, which is literally just this. This position you need to make sure you can do. If your back is not quite flexible enough to have your toes touch the floor and they're floating, that's okay, you can still do this movement, but you need to get comfortable rolling up and over your shoulders and having your legs above your head. So practice that a couple of times. Second, you wanna make sure that you know how to do a Z sit like this. So, both legs are bent. It's like a double attitude situation. Yeah. And you're holding it here. This is how you start. So I'm gonna show you the movement without breaking it down first so you get an idea of what the heck I'm talking about. Let's see how it goes. I believe in you. All right, so right here, I push up and over, let my right arm slide, and then I land down. Woo! So that, so, Yay. couple things. You're like, what in the world did she just do? All right, groups. Groups. <laughs> From a G-sit, my left leg swings around, and what happens is I have to go over my right shoulder. If I don't push up enough, what will end up happening is this. Okay, so. That wasn't as pretty. <laughs> thank you. Ow. So, what you want to make sure is that you push over your shoulder. That's why I recommend that you practice plow, plow, <laughs> um, before doing this to get comfortable. When you are over your shoulder, your legs stay what, Maddie? So? Straight. Straight, and your toes so? Pointed. Good answer. Straight knees, <gasps> pointed toes. Keep your chin tucked into your chest, kind of looking at your belly button. And the way that you land can be up to you. Some people get all the way around. Some um, will land kind of that double-legged situation as me. Some will go to just their legs being straight. Don't stress about the ending. It's just the cool, the coolness of the actual movement. So starting in a Z sit, this left leg swings around. Your right shoulder is gonna tuck, and you go up and over. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, and swing. Tuck, straighten your knees, point your toes, and over. Nice. You want yeah. to show your version? Sure. Okay. It's relatively similar. I think I'll do it. So we have here. So everything, as I just said, still applies. We're going. Oh yeah, better. So Matt looks like a lot more athletic than mine. And again, this is why I love shooting with different people too, is to just show that movement looks different. <laughs> I'm gonna come closer. Oh, sorry. That was your, your moment. <laughs> I'm back. Um, it's nice to see movement on different bodies, right? I tend to dance like a little, like a little leaf flying in the wind. You are far more flexible. And that's like too, grounded. So. Okay, okay, sure. But I don't oh. like the way that you dance. No, too, it's good. It's like grounded and athletic. Um, so it's just there's just lots of differences, and I think it's really cool to see it on different bodies. So why don't we try at the same time? Yeah. Long legged babies. Let's, Let's do it. See. Let's see who dies. Right. Five, six, seven, and up, and split. All right. <laughs> That's Whoa. your helicopter. Stretch. Ho. Good job, babies. That was your floor work. What did we do? We did our single-legged toe over, hmm. our kip up, hmm. our kip up, and our helicopter. 
<laughs> you guys, be proud of yourself. My little shoulders are burning. Is your knee burning? A little bit. You it's guys, okay. dance hurts sometimes. So <laughs> Matt had really good advice. Woo! Find soft flooring um, and wear pants. I highly recommend wearing pants. Yeah. I highly recommend wearing pants um, just for a little while so that you don't burn yourselves. Um, burn yourselves on like the carpet, I mean, or get like little little raspberries. Um, fun. You guys sign up for our email list at achikamal.com. We have lots of announcements and exclusive content and whatnot coming up. Ooh, Seriously, exciting. you're going to want to be in the loop. Don't miss it. Find us on Instagram at Masati, at Braden Bear, at Matt Shiny Teeth. Um, oh, dance for a corner. Check them out, dancewearcorner.com. They're also on Instagram at dancewearcorner. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, tag me in your Instagram story so that I can post it on my Instagram story highlight. Um, I love seeing your cute little faces doing the dances and implementing things that I say into your life. It's really, really cool. Um, P.S. Working on that P.O. box, so keep an eye out so that you guys can send some really cool Ooh. stuff and maybe they'll get featured Ooh. in the vlogs. Fancy. Happy dancing. Tell the people something positive, Matt. Be good. Don't do anything mean. Eat your vegetables. Uh, uh, make sure that you get you brush your teeth. Um, you want to really you moisturize. Do some moisturizing. Uh, eight hours of sleep. Uh, stretch. Uh, basically cram cranberry juice is delicious. Make sure you drink a lot of that if you want, or you don't have to. I guess it's at least the less important of those ones. Uh, oh, thank your parents. Call your mom every once in a while. Tell her tell you love her. Uh, holidays are coming through. Uh, make sure that you got your shopping done because that fills out real quick. I haven't done mine yet. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what anybody wants. Uh, you got to make sure that when you when you have a nice big meal. Perfect.